Hello friends, this is Umesh and today in surfacing we will create uh, this model, this is a surface model and here we have one top view, front view and side view and one auxiliary view from AA, see this is the AA dash so that we can see this and another section properly, see these two sections we have seen from here and one cut is there, one cavity is there which is 5 unit deep, so this is a cavity, see here we have the cavity this cavity is here okay so let's start with this side view and then we will see all the rest of the option okay so first of all I am going to create this shape from the front so click this okay Okay, and draw a shape as it is shown here. Okay, and draw one more arc and delete this. Now I'm going to match this and this, and this dimension is 12c. Here it is 12 and this gap is 22 okay and now the radius and the radius is 125 and the height is 100 this height is 100 and close this line is not matching from this point so I'm going to consider, apply the consonant okay now finish it and extrude i'm going to extrude this 100 so select 50 and symmetrical value 50 50 on the both side okay okay again i'm going to create this line so that we can create new plane to create this two section so select the same plane and draw a line here to this now I'm going to dimension it so dimension is from this point to this is 20 and from top to this point is 60 okay and angle so here we have the angle from this line to this is the angle is 20 okay and 60 from the bottom so click this point from the horizontal axis this gap is 60 I think my sketch is fully constrained now okay so finish and I'm going to create a plane for the section so click over the line it will automatically detect and it will apply this option uh, point and on curve okay on curve is applied here and select this uh, sketch and rotate it and my orientation vector is this and adjust like this okay now draw a rectangle rotate it this is matching okay so this point and this both will coincident and now I'm going to apply the dimension for the smaller one is 50 and this gap is 40 close finish and again datum plane and the line and drag it okay and select this orient the view and draw one more rectangle and this point and this axis make them consonant 
and 9.5 is a gap. So from here to this is 9.5. Now to define this dimension, the bigger one is 65. See here it is 65, here it is 40, this is 60 sorry, here it is 60 and finish. Now I am going to use this through curve. So my first curve is this middle thick and my second curve is this. Okay uh, and make it in a sheet. Now I am going to use this trim. So trim. I am going to trim this with this and apply. And again I want to trim this with this shape and apply and hide. Hide this sketch. Hide this plane and this sketch. Okay. Now oh, yeah, go to this more and here we have the Boundary plane, select this and make it close and again home and from this view okay and see the top view here we have so I am starting with this a little bit more an arc from here to here okay and I'm going to project so that this line will come properly okay and I'm going to align with this line so click here and point is this and this point will come vertically and the radius of this arc is 50 see here we have the 50 and extrude this and throughout this and click here Okay, and select this and I am going to mirror mirror this feature with respect to this middle plane and okay. So here in surfacing we have trim and extend options. So I am going to make the corner this face and this face. Sorry, other face is this one and reverse the direction and apply. Okay. And the same I am going to do with this one. Reverse the direction, apply, cancel it. Okay. Now hide this and hide this curve as well. Okay. Okay. Now everything is okay. Now only this cavity is remaining. So click it and here on this plane, click and goes click I want to create a rectangle click this is the rectangle now dimension it at 20 this is 20 in length and the width is 10 and 5 from the sorry before that we have to assign it to it so wait for it and use this fillet and uh, 12 fillet of 2 and 4 fillets so first we are going to apply the 4 fillet 3.5 3.5 is the radius and 4 1 it is not combined so that's why it is not selecting so select this skew and I want to skew this this and all this okay all will skew now uh, so all the surfaces are combined now and use this edge blend and the radius is 3.4 3.5 is the radius okay 3.5 apply and the rest are two rest means this 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 here 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 and here here All the edges which are left, all are two radius split. I think everywhere we have placed. Okay, so this is two and two, 14 edges. Okay, so now this is okay. 
and the sketch is this one so I'm going to drag it after this edge double click over it and now I'm going to define rest of the dimension which are 5 from the outer edge from this to this is 5 and from this to this is 5 and extrude this and 0 and 5 okay and change it to sheet okay rotate it and here we have the bounded plane so now select this upper one okay now I am going to trim this so trim sheet I want to trim with respect to this curve and okay see hide this hide this plane and sew this okay and the uh, one unit is a fillet radius Okay, so this is our model it is in surface hide this So thank you for watching, hope you understand this properly.